He is someone who has transformed the education system across the Indian schools in Oman. Dr. Baby Sam, welcome to Spotlight. Thank you, Nisha. Thank you for hosting me. It's a pleasure for us as well. Doctor, I just wanted to ask this question towards the end of our conversation, but I think I'll start with it. Uh, you've been associated with Indian schools for quite some time. Yes, uh, you've been in the board, this is the second time you're in the board, and okay. you're the first as chairman, which is coming to an end soon. The curious question that I want to ask is, why are you not contesting again? Well, uh, you're right, I'm not running this time. Um, it's time to give way to fresh young blood. Um, seriously, I have been I have been at this uh, non-stop for the last four years, as you rightly said. First uh, first term as a director, then now uh, you know this term as a chairman. Um, as much as I've relished this experience, uh, I, I had to keep uh, on hold a lot of projects, and it's time to get back to that tireless journey. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Uh, you know, I've heard a lot about uh, Vision 2020, which of course is your brainchild. But I'm very curious to know what exactly is that. Well. Um, when we began this term in the year 2018, uh, the first thing that we did was to define a long-term aim for the Indian schooling system. The ultimate aim is to ensure that every child in the Indian schooling system uh, should undergo transformative learning, equipped with the skills, knowledge and well-being, to find the true identity and purpose in life. What it simply means is that uh, you know, schools are places where uh, you know, the, our children are ready academically, physically, and mentally uh, to brave the 21st century, where the love for lifelong learning is being kindled, where uh, they are made adept at the 21st century skills, where positive policies are framed, uh, you know, taking into consideration the best interest of our, uh, you know, biggest stakeholder, that's our children. So in simple terms, we need to be child-centric. We then conducted an extensive survey among our parents, teachers, and students, understanding to understand their pain areas and areas of improvisation. Along with the survey results and uh, keeping in our mind our long-term aim, then we structured, we documented uh, uh, an immediate vision plan, you know, a documented set of objectives to be achieved by the year 2020. And that's called the Vision 2020 document. And it, is, it also comprises of a to-do list, what we're supposed to do, with a clear timelines in place, and you know, it really helped. And we're nearing uh, 2020. So how far it has progressed? Well, uh, uh, the new initiatives that we have planned for this this term was something like 26 of them, uh, but we ended up, uh, thanks to the teamwork, we ended up, uh, you know, having 38 new initiatives uh, rolled out uh, this term, and that's of course uh, history in the Indian schools. If you can brief that, you know, those 38 projects, maybe some of them, you know. Be interesting for our readers as well. Various initiatives, you know, it's basically uh, you know the, the fundamental aim, as I said, is like you know preparing our children for the 21st you know, century. Now, why prepare our children for the 21st century? Uh, if you look at any any girl parent, me and you, mm. uh, you know, we always lament over the very fact that you know our children are not as street smart as uh, you know ch children back in India. True, uh, which is a fact because our children back in India get uh, you know. A wide variety of opportunities uh, to expose their learning, uh, you know, to practice their learning. You know, be it simple things like you know, grocery shopping, uh, managing their own expenses, traveling to and fro from school, uh, you know, independently, uh, higher exposure uh, to to people, uh, interpersonal relationships, and this is this all uh, you know contributes to so-called fact called uh, street smartness. And, uh, street smartness is. Nothing but being self-reliant, you know, being uh, resilient, being, uh, you know, uh, being innovative, being, you know, having the skills of negotiation. And these are uh, the kind of skills that the corporate world is looking at today. True. Compared to even Marx. Now, if you look at the 21st century skills like creativity, critical thinking, collaboration, um, you know, media literacy, civic literacy. Now, this is what uh, our children needs to, you know, imbibe in them. Uh, when they, when they are growing up as adults to thrive and grow in the 21st century. And this is possible through holistic education. Mm. You know, underscores the very fact that, you know, overall development of a child, be it academic, emotional, uh, psychological, uh, physical, uh, you know, that, that's what we've been aiming at. And, you know, a series of initiatives have been launched in line with this, apart from academics. Um, I'm talking about extracurricular, you know, like leadership training program, uh, at regular intervals for our student community in association with Majan University. We have an entrepreneurship club that has been launched. Okay. Uh, yes. 
named Stites and we mm -hmm. are to sign an agreement with uh, EDII, mm -hmm. Entrepreneurship Development Institute of India. Mm -hmm. so, it's a very reputed uh, you know, organization. We uh, launched STI uh, to basically imbibe, inculcate the habit of uh, you know, uh, creativity, innovation, uh, you know, enhancing uh, your reasoning and you know, scientific aptitude. Uh, science, technology and innovation must be launched. We had around 25 uh, various events under, under the platform, under the banner of STI, um, like youth conclave, artificial intelligence and uh, augmented reality okay. in, in concept rooms. Something which I have not heard when I was in school here. <laughs> That's right, yeah. <laughs> Planetarium shows. Okay. We had a science uh, aptitude test that has been conducted. So over 7,000 students have participated in the very first year and uh, possibly one of the largest technology uh, events among the school's uh, schooling system. We, we launched Indian School Quiz, making uh, learning fun. Uh, you know, uh, 1,300 uh, teams participated across the 21 Indian schools. Um, two preliminary rounds have been conducted totally online. And uh, the, the grand finale uh, was witnessed by around 4,000 plus students, uh, conducted by the eminent user uh, Vinay Mugalia. We also had a banner. Two editions have been covered uh, this this term, banner 2018 and 2019. Uh, almost 12,000 students participated uh, in in a banner, and this is a great opportunity for our children to understand uh, the changing landscape in the corporate arena. Uh, you know the, the the new trends, latest trends in the higher educational sector. Now we also have presented the uh, Shivkera. The mm -hmm. I, I'm sure you have attended as well. Uh, yes, the Shivkera, uh, the the renowned motivational speaker. And this year we had uh, the eminent academician uh, Professor Ellis Ganesh coming in addressing our students. Apart from that, 70 plus eminent uh, industrialists and academicians, uh, you know, from and uh, outside Oman, came and shared their expertise with our students. And you know, it has been uh, it has been a great. Uh, opportunity for our students to hear from them. We had uh, Indian School Talent Fest, uh, you know, the cultural fiesta of Indian schools, with over uh, 2,000 students from 19 Indian schools participated this time. Indian School Film Fest has been launched. I was part of it, yes. Yeah. Has been launched this year. It's been again a two day program uh, where the whole idea is to, uh, you know, to utilize the media of visual media and, uh, and uh, storytelling. To, to drive home powerful messages and, and uh, you know, values. We had uh, student-run magazines in six different languages uh, launched this year. Unique talent recognition, that is to identify unconventional talents within the Indian schooling system, uh, not only to identify, even to encourage them further. And also this year, when we started, um, this term when we began, we started with uh, two new initiatives, which is called uh, gift a book and vices, both to imbibe uh, the feeling or the sense of giving as well to promote volunteership. Gift a book, the first term itself, we've got around 7,000 books in, you know, in good condition. And uh, vices is in communitarians of Indian schools, where, uh, you know, the, the, the fundamental aim is to help the poor, the needy, uh, support the community and to protect the environment. And uh, our children have did their best. Uh, you know, they, 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 they touched the lives of many uh, in their own ways. They, they cleaned the beaches, they visited the sick, they raised funds for the poor and the needy, they planted trees. Yeah, and the likes. And you know, uh, one another initiative which is very, very close to my heart is um, here for you, let's talk. So 24 7. Which was launched a year back. A year back, that's right. 24 7, 365 round the clock counseling service. A dedicated number has been given, and 46,000 plus our students can access this number, get to them at any given point of time. On the other side of it, you have a counselor, all set to uh, you know, address your emotional and you know, emotional concerns. Mm -hmm. So, as of today, we have around 300 plus cases that we have addressed very successfully. Okay. And that's and if you really look at it, I haven't heard or read any such initiatives uh, across the world, especially True. in the base education sector. True. So that's that's a project which is very close to my heart as well. Well, Doctor, while we talk about the co-curricular activities, you know, yes. uh, parents obviously these days gives more importance to academics as well. I Absolutely. mean, that's that's one of the primary thing that that's the reason why they send students to the schools. 
Uh, what are the initiatives you've taken in that aspect? You're very right, Nishat. You know, for a, for a parent, for a student, as well for the school, the most relevant or the most clear indicator of uh, success, uh, even today, is nothing but academics and the major area of concern. I, I agree to it. I'm, I'm so happy to share that you know, 2019 board results was the best in the history of Indian schools ever. Okay. And not only uh, you know, in, in Oman, it's one of the best results in the region as well. Whatever our 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 board results were. Now, uh, strengthening academics means, uh, you know, you need to have positive policies in place. You need to empower uh, our, our people. We need to enhance our resources. So for which, uh, you know, we, we, we formed an academic advisory council and a technology advisory council and a special education advisory council. Now, uh, an academic manual for the Indian schools is almost ready and you know, it should okay. be launched any time, uh, you know, possibly by the next month. What are the highlights in that, if you can just... In the, in the academic manual, yes. it gives a clear framework of, you know, where, where okay. we are supposed to head with the 21st century, uh, you know, learning and teaching as well. Now, uh, this, this year itself, this term itself, we also have launched uh, a physical education manual. We have launched a counselling and uh, special education manual. Now, we also launched a virtual learning environment, which is named the ISOVLE, Indian Schools of Mind Virtual Learning Environment, for the first ever time. And this is not very common in, in the base education sector. That's where know. the world is going, actually. Exactly. And, uh, you know, this is more common with the higher education sector, but we, 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 uh, we developed and we managed this particular portal uh, in-house. And... Uh, you know, there's tremendous response from the student and, you know, it has been widely used by our student community as well. Launched in January 2019 and today as we speak, we have more than 190,000 pages. You are, you have around 9,200 unique users, uh, 22,100 uh, plus uh, sessions that has been, uh, you know, conducted. We also have, uh, you know, we also have video lessons, we also have live seminars, we have peer-to-peer -peer learning. And we have question banks and presentations all available. It acts as basically a knowledge repository for our student community. During the last board exams, board time, pre exams, and during the exams, we also had something called tele tutoring, where subject experts were available on WhatsApp and call any given point of time, and students could, uh, you know, reach out to this, uh, you know, uh, to their teachers. Remedial classes, enrichment programs, and Gurugul has been expanded to various and rather new schools as well this year. So all these have contributed towards, uh, you know, a better results in the year 2019. Resource enhancement was also a very important element for us. If you look at uh, the flagship project of ours, uh, you know, the, the Indian School Voucher, where applied learning and holistic education is given predominance has been launched this year. First term itself, we've got 1,800 plus students uh, joining the school. Indian School, uh, Ibra, we moved to a new premise altogether. In schools like Indian School Mulada, Indian School Seeb, Indian School uh, Mabela, Indian School Ibri, we had new classrooms now. We have uh, new laboratories uh, in place. We have multi-purpose halls in place. So, you know, a resource enhancement, infrastructural enhancement has been given uh, great importance during this term. You have extensively uh, spoke about, you know, the student development, the agendas we've had. Uh, what are the initiatives that you have taken for the faculties? You know, that's also a major, you know, they are also a major players in this uh, sort of vision. Yeah, I, I totally agree with you. Empowering our resources, empowering our people is the most important thing and you know, that's how we better our academic results as well, you know, the overall, overall aim that we have. They are basically our missionaries of our vision. Um, you know, a series of initiatives have been, have been rolled out in this term. Uh, apart from the faculty development programs that has been uh, rolled out in, uh, you know, the, the independent individual schools, we also had centralized, uh, you know, training programs that has been organized, starting from our head of the institutions, the principals, to the second level of uh, leadership. Till the administration, we had a series of uh, activities rolled out. Our principals have been sent uh, to the U.S. Uh, for a 10-day leadership training program with uh, Dallas Baptist University. They also got exposed uh, to what happens in the public as in the public as well, the private sector, uh, you know, base education in the in the U.S. Our second level of leadership, our vice principals, AVPs, they got trained on leadership again from Opie Jindal, uh, Delhi, by last week. And uh, as far as our faculties goes, our teachers goes, we have done a 
capacity building uh, exercise with CBSE, uh, first of its kind uh, in, in such a kind of uh, manner. Around 1,100 teachers got trained onto this, uh, you know, particular training program, and we had the best resources from CBSE also joining us in a month. Um, rest of the teachers, rest of the faculties, it has been live streamed across uh, all the schools. We also conducted a, a communication training program for our administration staff, a communication and etiquette training program for our administration staff. And uh, we are also expecting to have Oman being, uh, you know, training hub for CBSE shortly. Okay. So the plans are underway, I think. That's right. If you can pick up, uh, you know, some of your best moments or achievements, I would say, I'm sure there are lots, but you know, some of your best moments, what will that be? Well, all these 38 uh, initiatives are very close to my heart, but if you, if you really ask me some of the best uh, moments, uh, one is definitely the 2019 uh, board results. Another one is, uh, you know, we were able to give 100% admissions at the first lot, uh, you know, and uh, in the year 2019, and 75% of the parents got their, you know, first preference. Uh, we have said a no to afternoon uh, shift admissions. So you are, you are not no more taking afternoon shift. There is no more admissions taken in the afternoon, uh, afternoon shift anymore. Uh, the launch of Indian School Bosher, uh, the, the 21st century school, is another milestone. Um, also, other other events that have, I mean, other initiatives that I've told you, like Indian School Talent Fest, Indian School Film Fest, a banner. Um, ISO VLE, uh, IS quiz, all these are very close to my heart. 24-7, um, 365, around the clock counseling service, as I said. But the most important thing, what I feel is like uh, a paradigm shift in the thought process in terms of like how we are supposed to look at education by and large, or rather a major focus towards holistic education. And I think that's, that's the biggest achievement possibly. I do not say that it's a complete success as we speak. It's, it's a, you know, it doesn't happen overnight. But definitely there has been a, a, a stepping stone that has been done, uh, rather, you know. But I think we are in the right direction. Yeah. How can, uh, you know, Indian schools grow further? I mean, like, say, in next 10 years, what major changes can we see within the Indian schools in Oman? There is uh, no way that we, we can be the way we are today. Our schooling system should uh, transform themselves from information centers to centers of excellence. Our schools need to be 21st century space of 21st century learning and teaching. And because we are uh, preparing a new generation for jobs that do not exist. So that, that transformation is inevitable. When we you know, talk about the board elections or the school elections in general, every time we get to hear about fee reduction, or changes within the you know schooling system. Uh, I'm sure you must have come across all yes. that. Uh, how far you could deal with such issues? Well, uh, changes within the system we have committed and we have delivered. And as I said before, uh, you know there has been a paradigm shift in, in our you know thought process. That itself is a great thing. Uh, we have gone further with in terms of our commitment towards holistic education. Now, when it comes to fees, uh, fee reduction per se. Now, we need to understand this. This is how it goes. Board is a policy decision-making body. And every individual school has its own school management committee. And the school management committee runs the day-to-day -day operations of the school. And uh, at the end of the year, they, they prepare the budget uh, in accordance with the need of the school, submit it to the finance committee of the board. They study the same with their recommendation presented to the board. And board ratifies, and then it goes in for implementation. So what I was trying to say is like it is a collective decision of the board, uh, you know, in, in, in any kind of a thing that we, we kind of come across. But when it comes to fee reduction per se, I do not think it is a very practical, uh, you know, solution as you rightly know. Reduction may not be a practical solution, but at the same time, I do not discount the fact that there has been a rise in, in, the, in the percentage of parents that needs uh, financial assistance and support this time. We, we totally understand that. And we do the best possible to address this as well. I'll give you an example. Uh, Indian school musket alone, this term, we have uh, you know, rolled out or rather supported uh, parents who are financially challenged in the tune of something like 140,000 Omani Rials. Oh. That's something like 40% uh, you know, higher than uh, in the last term. So we, we definitely support such initiatives. Uh, we also coming up with you know, sponsored child programs. 
you know, fee concessions, scholarships in, in various schools, uh, you know, so the school management committee takes such kind of a call, yes. I am sure it was never an easy, you know, sort of journey for you over the last four years. I am sure you must have had your share of criticisms as well. How do you, looking back, how do you take all that? Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> uh, it, it, as you rightly said, it has never been easy. Uh, but at the same time, some of the challenges were very, very enlightening as well. But, uh, you know, Nishad, if you really look at it, uh, end of the day, it's a team effort. True. It's not me, myself. Uh, you know, you have a board, you have uh, a board office, a very vibrant board office. You have the school management committees, you have administrators, you have the, the, the wonderfully dedicated teaching community. So it's been a team effort altogether. Now, uh, what has been disheartening at some point of time was, uh, you know, when people criticize you without understanding what the system is, how the system operates and what the reality and what the fact is. So that has been sometimes disheartening. Uh, in an era of, of fake news and altered <laughs> facts. Uh, I have heard a lot of them. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think, you know, uh, you know, we need to get out of our comfort zones to understand what, what the reality is. Uh, before we decide on something and before we, we believe on something. Yeah, but you've done some amazing stuff, like, I mean, as we just spoke, many things that you've done. But uh, at any point did you regret, you know, being part of the system and leading it from the front? Uh, I would say, I mean, it would be, uh, it would be a lie if I say no. Uh, yes, there have been instances, but, uh, you know, where, where I felt the same, you know, you, you are a professional, and why did you get into this? And that at the end of the day, it's, it's a very, it's a voluntary service. But then uh, overall, in a nutshell, if you really look at it, as I said, it's a, it's a fulfilling experience and it's been a great uh, learning curve for me. So uh, I would love to cherish this experience. You know, being the chairman is never easy. Uh, I'm sure, you know, like we just said, a lot of criticisms that comes your way, a lot of things to do. You spend a lot of time within the system, spending time with students, teachers and the management committee members. Uh, how do you motivate yourself? Well, uh, you know, it was a choice that I have, you know, personally made to be part of the system. Uh, the, the prime reason of motivation is to, you know, to, to empower, uh, you know, or rather to bring up a new generation which is going to be, uh, you know, more committed towards a society, you know, to be more considerate, to be more humane in nature. So uh, that is quite possible, I strongly believe, is through holistic education. Uh, you know, I remember the words of Andrea Sefirok, who the 2018 uh, World's Best Teacher Award has been conferred to her. You know, she has been asked this question, how are you able to do this? Uh, you know, you cannot, it's, it's impossible to be so selfless and, you know, go out of your way to, you know, support the student community the way you are doing it. And the answer she gave is like, you know, that the future of my nation uh, belongs to these, uh, you know, these kids. Uh, I echo her same thoughts uh, and, you know, as I said, like, for me, it has been a very fulfilling journey. Now that the elections are around the corner, the board elections, uh, what will be that one advice that you would want to give to the new chairman? Well, uh, uh, two things. Uh, one is, at any given point of time, any decision that you take, you know, you are accountable to different stakeholders. Right. Your reporting authorities, school management committees, uh, parents, teachers. Keep your biggest stakeholder in the middle of the circle and ask this question, how is it going to benefit the child? Have a child first approach is the is a, is a first suggestion. Another one is that uh, a clear vision document really help this term or rather this board achieve its, its targets. Likewise, I, I strongly uh, feel that, you know, that the next board should have a vision 2022 document or name it what not, but a, a, a clearly documented, uh, you know, plan of action with clear timelines and, uh, you know, Declare the same, so that you have an, an open commitment, and I think uh, that will uh, lead us to the right direction. That is to ensure that every child undergoes the transformation that we have been talking about or that we, we we shared in the beginning. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. It's a pleasure talking to you. Uh, looking back at this journey, and I wish you all the best for your future endeavors. It's a pleasure talking to you. Thank you. Thank you so much, and it has been great talking to you as well, Nisha. Thank you. Thank you.